morning ESM. John, you know we've been doing Pride all week, right? We have, or uh, yeah, of course I know that. Well, you know what today is, right? Friday? Well, yes, but no. It's E, which stands for? Exquisite. That's why they put me on. No, it's uh, excellence, which is why, obviously, I'm hosting. But Whatever. you know what? We'll get to talk to you guys more about excellence after news and announcements. Our top stories today, musician and owner of the Death Row record label Snoop Dogg joins the gaming organization FaZe as a content creator slash board of director. Snoop has been streaming himself playing games on the Twitch live streaming platform over the last few months, and the most recent in a wave of celebrities joining the organization, including rapper Little Yachty and LeBron James Jr. In other news, New York's Cannabis Control Board approved regulations on Thursday for the state's emerging marijuana marketplace that moved three most impacted by the war on drugs to the front of the line, making the state's equity approach to cannabis arguably the most progressive in the nation. The five-member board unanimously approved DRAC regulations for the conditional retail licenses. The Office of Cannabis Management, which oversees the state's new marketplace, estimates that between 100 to 200 conditional retail licenses will be approved for qualifying dispensary owners in the first round, according to the New York Times. Provisional license holders will be immediately able to grow cannabis outdoors or in a greenhouse with up to 20 artificial lights. Their temporary license expires on June 30th, 2024, and they will have until June 1st to apply for a full license. In other news, Ukraine's defense minister Oleski Renizku has said the Russian forces have killed more civilians than soldiers during their invasion. In a statement made Thursday on Facebook, Renizku said the Kremlin is bombing schools and hospitals, including maternity hospitals. Moscow does not protect anyone it destroys. The death toll claims, the death toll claims were not able to be confirmed. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance. Are you interested in a career in education? Come to the first Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on Wednesday, March 16th, after school in the small cafeteria. Refreshments will be served. And Greece is the word here at ESM, and last night's show was a hit. Unfortunately, tonight is completely sold out. Not, you know, unfortunately, you can't buy more tickets. But, um, but we have good availability on Saturday at 2 and at 7. Purchasing pre-sale tickets are recommended. It's like the best way to get your tickets. And we'll see you there. All right, so like I said, today is the show about excellence. And excellence can come in many different forms in this school. We have academic excellence, artistic excellence, uh, sports excellence, and many, kind, many other kinds of excellence that can be shown throughout school. Tell more, John. And there's many students that show this excellence through you know, clubs and schoolwork and all kinds of things. And we'll show you more on that after weather. So we're going to have some clear skies, so don't expect anything to really happen today. I'm it's going to be mostly warm with a high of 45 and a low of 33. And now this low will become the new high for tomorrow with a high of 33 and a low of 17. And Sunday will have a high of 34 and a low of 29. So weekend's going to be a little chilly, so if you plan on going out, make sure to dress up warm. Then as the week progresses into next week, It'll become warmer and warmer with some colder lows. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. I would say I show excellence in school by making sure my work is in on time when the due date is, and if not, then I catch up, talk to my teachers, and make sure everything's all set in stone. Especially you get to a championship event, you've got to work on the little things, and that'll have a very good outcome. So, of course, we learn the hurdle form early, and closer towards the end, it's like your arms, and now it's like putting your lead leg down quicker just so you can get stay on the ground longer so you can get faster um, but 
What did it feel like to be up on stage, uh, on the podium? It was great. <laughs> it was great. So many like cameras and so many faces. It was weird. Um, right after I got off the podium, I actually had to do two interviews, and I've never really done interviews before. So it was it was weird, but it was fun. In school, I would definitely say I work really hard to stay in contact with all my teachers and I get my work done like the day that it's assigned so I don't have stuff piled over my head. And I show excellence in track by always working hard, not only for my self-benefit, but for my teammates in order to, <laughs> in order to benefit the whole team and win. Uh, well, I mean, I think it's good practice researching and you know learning about different types of sources and then writing it all up and presenting I think it's a lot of skills for academic things that are required. Uh, my project is on the like effects of e-waste. And what's it been like working on this project? Like is, is it one of the hardest projects you worked on? Um, at first I thought it was gonna be hard but then like the more I worked on it and the more like time I took I finally like understood it and it became a lot easier. Proud of this project? I do feel proud of it, yeah. What makes you proud? Uh, probably just like all the work that I did throughout the year. Um, it's always good to feel like gratification for how hard I work in the clay room. I'm down here a lot and it's very rewarding to see that my art is recognized. And how long have you been doing clay? Um, I've been doing clay like my whole high school, so three years now and more to come obviously in college. My art. And how long have you been doing clay? Um, I've been doing clay like my whole high school, so three years now, and more to come, obviously, in college. The MLB lockout finally ended yesterday after months of waiting. To sum it up, they decided to change all the rules back to pre-pandemic rules. Syracuse men's basketball team unfortunately lost to Duke yesterday, 88 to 79. Jimmy Beheim led the team with 28. Hughes has eliminated from the ACC. All right, now just to wrap things up, we'll talk about a couple of awards that me and John have gotten. John, what how about you? Um, well, I got a perfect attendance record in like fifth grade, so you know. I thought that was pretty excellent. It's pretty good. I haven't, I haven't gotten that in a while. Um, yeah. uh, I got the Scholar Athlete Award, even though I didn't really do much for fall, but okay. still got it. Well, we, we both got track awards from uh, yeah, winning the section and, you know, being the best. And that yeah. will happen again this being year. Stay tuned. Outdoor, track. Wait, outdoor track. Outdoor track. Yeah, we'll be Section champions. For promise sure. you that. All right. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have an excellent day, of course. Yeah. And from me, John, and everyone here at the Morning Show. Later.